New for 2024, the AAMC is introducing a brand new medical school requirement. Will you be affected by this application change, and what do pre-meds need to know about the preview exam? Dr. Jubal, MedSchoolInsiders.com This guide will take you through everything you need to know about the new preview exam, including who needs to take it, how it's scored, and how to prepare. First, let's discuss what Preview is and why it was developed. In recent years, the medical community has placed increasing emphasis on the importance of a pre-med soft skills and non-academic qualifications. While academic qualifications are still a major determining factor in a pre-med's medical school acceptance, admissions committees are also interested in evaluating a med school candidate's empathy, professionalism, communication skills, and ethical decision-making. The AAMC's Preview Professional Readiness Exam is a situational judgment test much like Casper, but this test was developed and is administered by the AAMC. Since it's quite new on the scene, it's very possible you will not have to complete it in order to apply to medical school. In 2023, only 19 schools participated in the test, and in 2024, only 13 schools are participating so far. However, it's likely that more future pre-meds, or even future residency applicants, could be faced with it. The test is designed to evaluate a pre-med's awareness of effective and ineffective professional behaviors. The preview exam is composed of a series of hypothetical scenarios that students may be faced with in medical school. Students are asked to assess the effectiveness of behavioral responses to each of these scenarios in a multiple choice format. It's essentially the AAMC's answer to the rising popularity of the Casper test, which is required by approximately 50 medical schools. It costs a one-time fee of $100 to take Take the test. Admissions committees will use the applicant's responses to determine if they, in addition to strong academic metrics, possess the temperament, empathy, and ethical decision-making necessary to be a successful medical student and future physician. The AAMC's pre-med competency model for preview includes professional, science, and thinking and reasoning competencies. Professional competencies include cultural awareness, cultural humility, commitment to learning and growth, teamwork and collaboration, empathy and compassion, resilience and adaptability, ethical responsibility to self and others, reliability and dependability, and interpersonal skills. The science competencies include human behavior and living systems. And the thinking and reasoning competencies include critical thinking, quantitative reasoning, scientific inquiry, and written communication. Each of these competencies is essential to a student's success in medical school, residency, and their future career as a licensed physician, as there's a great deal more to being a doctor than high grade in science. So who needs to add this test to their long list of medical school requirements? Not every pre-med needs to take a preview test. Whether or not you need to take the test is up to the medical schools you're applying to. In 2023, although all AMCAS medical schools were invited to use the preview exam in their admissions process, only 8 medical schools required it, and only 11 schools recommended it. The AAMC anticipates huge adoption from schools in the future. They estimate over 80% of applicants will apply to at least one school that is requiring or recommending applicants take preview. That said, these are only estimates, and the AAMC actually saw a drop in participation from 2023 to 2024 so far. They previously stated that most, if not all, of the 2023 administration participating schools are expected to participate again in 2024 with the addition of some new MD and DO granting institutions. However, for 2024, as of the making of this video, there are only six schools that require preview. Those schools include the University of California Davis, UCLA, and the University of Massachusetts. In addition to schools that require preview, seven schools only recommend you take preview, and some require a situational judgment test of your choosing. Since this exam is brand new, we can't say for certain whether or not there will be consequences for not participating when a school recommends you do. That said, you should look at each application component as another opportunity to impress admissions committees. Competition to earn acceptance to medical school is fierce. If you're up against an equally qualified candidate, but they completed the recommended exam and you did not, they could have a leg up on you. Check the current list of participating schools on the AAMC website linked in the description. 
Be sure to check again closer to when applications open up as more schools may be added. If you need to take the test, when can you take it and when should you schedule it? Preview exam dates for 2024 are offered from March until September. Score reports will be released approximately 30 days after each testing window. This makes scheduling the test a little tricky. Some schools say that you can have your preview score submitted up until the last date in mid-September, which will get the school your score by mid-October. However, the AAMC says your application may not be considered complete until participating schools receive your preview results. For this reason, it's imperative that you complete your preview exam as soon as possible to ensure your application is not delayed. Applying early is one of the most essential tips for pre-meds, as schools offer interview invites and acceptances on a rolling basis. The first applicants get the first interview spots, and the first interviewees are the first to get acceptance offers. With that in mind, aim to take your exam between test windows 1 to 4, which run from mid-March to mid-June. For example, Window 1 has test dates available for March 13th and 14th. Registration for those dates closed February 28th. The next window is for mid-April test dates. Registration closes April 3rd, and scores are released to schools by May 21st. View the full list of preview test dates, including when you need to register by, linked in the description. Preview has a unique multiple choice format and is completed online. Together with administrative activities and exam instructions, the total time is anywhere from 90 to 115 minutes, but the test itself takes 75 minutes. The exam presents hypothetical scenarios based on real life situations in healthcare, education, or other settings. Since the questions were developed for pre-meds, you do not need healthcare experience to perform well on the test. A scenario set is composed of a scenario and items with which are responses to each scenario. Each scenario is a short paragraph that describes a dilemma medical students may face during medical school. The items describe the actions you could take in response to the situation, and it's your job to rate the effectiveness of each response using a four-point scale. One is very ineffective, two is ineffective, three is effective, and four is very effective. Very ineffective means the response will cause additional problems or make the situation worse. Ineffective means the response will not improve the situation or may cause a problem. Effective means the response could help but will not significantly improve the situation. And very effective means the response will significantly improve the situation. The number of responses to review after each scenario varies. For example, this is an example scenario provided by AAMC. You are pursuing a two-week volunteer opportunity at a well-regarded local clinic. When you receive your course schedule, you realize the volunteer opportunity would conflict with your weekly required lab. This is the only time that the lab is offered this semester, so you're not able to make up the lab. Participation in the lab will count toward your grade. After reading the scenario, you would rate the listed responses based on effectiveness. For example, item 1, skip your lab for two weeks to attend the volunteer opportunity. Choose between 1, very ineffective, 2, ineffective, 3, effective, and 4, very effective. Item 2, attend the lab and investigate if similar volunteer opportunities are available at another time. Again, rate the effectiveness from 1 through 4. There are 30 scenarios on the exam with 186 multiple choice questions where you will choose between 1, 2, 3, or 4. Preview is a multiple choice test, as after, quote, many years of research, the AAMC has determined multiple choice to be the most reliable format to evaluate the core competencies. You will receive a single score ranging from 1 to 9, with 1 being the lowest and 9 being the highest. Your score is based on how closely your effectiveness ratings of each response align with those of medical educators. During the development of the preview exam, the AAMC had professional medical educators at accredited US MD granting medical schools review the scenarios and rate responses in the same way examinees would. Their responses established the scoring key. If your rating matches the medical educator's rating, you are awarded full credit. If your rating is close, you're awarded partial credit. Each total score is reported along with what's called a confidence band, which shows the ranges in which your total score lies. Confidence bands are meant to limit distinctions between test takers with similar scores. A percentile rank will also be reported along with your total score and confidence band. Percentile ranks of scores represent the percentage of examinees who earned the same or lower scores than you did. At the end of your test, you'll be asked if you want your exam scored or if you would like to void it, just like how you can choose to void your MCAT when you reach the end of the test. 
But note that voiding your preview counts toward your annual and lifetime attempts, and you'll have to wait until another test date is available. Preview scores are automatically pulled into the AMCAS primary application, so there's no further action required of you after you complete the test. Lastly, you can't study for your preview exam, but you can prepare for it. The best way to prepare for preview is to understand the exam format and complete practice questions and tests. The sample scenarios and questions you're presented with are developed by the AAMC to reflect exactly the kinds of hypothetical situations you'll face on the real test, so working through them beforehand is an absolute must. Sample exams will help you familiarize yourself with what you'll encounter on test day, and they'll give you a sense of the results you can expect. Reflect on your practice test results and pay close attention to the scoring key rationales at the end. This provides essential insight into how the questions are evaluated. You can find all of the answers and how they are rated at the end of the test. While the answers are provided at the end, do not look at them until after you've completed the test. For any questions you get wrong, take a look at the question again to determine where you went wrong. Don't try to memorize the correct answer, but rather aim to understand why you got the question wrong. Take your test prep up a notch by completing your practice exam within the 75 minutes you'll be allotted on test day. Do all you can to simulate the environment and conditions in which you will be taking the actual exam. Be sure to watch the AAMC Preview Professional Readiness Exam Test Day Experience video to familiarize yourself with the remote proctored online experience, link in the description. The video showcases the check-in process, the features and functions of the Preview Exam platform, and how to submit your exam once you're done. Before test day, go through the tutorial and review the preview exam's policies and procedures so that you're not leaving anything to chance on the day of your test. For more information about the preview exam, including a detailed FAQ, read our companion guide on the Med School Insiders blog linked up here. If you need to take a situational judgment test, check out our Casper and preview courses linked in the description. Much love my friends, and I'll see you all in that next one.